Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we'll be discussing the inventory health report found in the FBA business report section of Communicate for Marketplaces. My name is Tom and I'll be your presenter for this video. Communicate for Marketplaces is an enterprise level cloud reporting platform designed for e-commerce merchants just like you. Communicate features over 220 standard reports, dashboards, and utilities along with many other capabilities for marketplace reporting. It is remarkably intuitive and easy to use. In no time you'll be running reports just like a pro. The Inventory Health Report is an Amazon FBA business report available for FBA merchants. The Inventory Health Report provides detailed data about product sales. The report includes sellable and unsellable quantities for each product. The report includes quantities, pricing, inventory age, units shipped, weeks of cover, and projections. The information found in this report provides you with a clear understanding of your current inventory position at Amazon Fulfillment Centers as of the snapshot date. The Marketplace Reporting implementation of this report has value-added features which extends the usefulness of the Inventory Health Report. Some of the value-added features include supplier info, along with brands and categories, for greater insight into trends and patterns for inventory health at Amazon Fulfillment Centers. Let's get started with the Inventory Health Report presentation for Marketplace Reporting. Go to the FBA Business Reports menu located on the ribbon bar. Select the Inventory Health Report from the Inventory section. Click the right mouse button anywhere within the report and select search from the pop-up menu. Let's discuss the data filters for this report. This report does not contain date range filters since the snapshot date provided is simply the data was generated by Amazon. Filtering by snapshot date is essentially meaningless for this report. The filter options found in the upper right of the data filters has several filters to review. The group filter displays a list of Amazon departments or categories. The condition filter displays a list of conditions for use with filtering by new or used inventory. The next set of filters located bottom right of the data filters is the Marketplace Filter option. For U.S. merchants with a unified North America account, inventory from Amazon Canada and Mexico will be included in this report for qualifying products. By default, Amazon U.S. is the only option selected. You can select Canada and or Mexico to include your inventory from those marketplaces as well. The data filters for this report include additional filter tabs located across the bottom. You can filter by brands, categories, products, and suppliers. We'll use the default filters, so click the Apply button to generate results for the report. As you can see, there are 196 products listed. Let's review the data groups and columns for this report so we can explain how the data is organized and what each of the data points represent. This report features nine data groups, three of which are not visible by default. The Product Info group contains essential data about your product. The Quantities group contains current unit quantities. The Pricing group contains your listing of promotional pricing. It also includes the lowest price for new and used FBA and FBM items on Amazon. The Inventory Age group contains a number of units within specified aging periods. The Unit Ship group contains a number of units shipped within specified shipping periods. The Weeks of Cover group contains Amazon estimate of number of weeks of cover based on sales during the period specified and the current sellable quantity for the item. Most columns within the Product Info group are self-explanatory, but there are four columns we'll explain. The Marketplace column indicates the selling channel for the product. The Date column indicates the current as of date for the data generated by Amazon. The Condition column is the current condition of the item. The Product Group column is the Amazon department or category for your product. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the Quantities group. The Sellable value is the number of sellable units for a SKU in Amazon's Fulfillment Network. The Unsellable value is the number of unsellable units for a SKU in Amazon's Fulfillment Network. The total value is the number of sellable and unsellable units for a SKU in Amazon's Fulfillment Network. The removal value is the number of units you ask to be returned or disposed. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the pricing group. The price value is your current listing price. The sales value is your current promotional price. The new FBA value is the lowest price for this item in new condition including any offers from Amazon. The used FBA value is the lowest price for this item in used condition including any offers from Amazon. The new FBM value is the lowest price for this item in new condition fulfilled by seller. This price includes the seller's shipping costs. The used FBM value is the lowest price for this item in used condition fulfilled by seller. This price includes the seller's shipping costs. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the Inventory Age group. The 90 days value is the number of sellable units which have been in the fulfillment center for at least 0 to 90 days. The 180, 270, and 365 days value is the number of sellable units which have been in the fulfillment center for the specified number of days. The 365 plus value is the number of sellable units which have been in the fulfillment center for more than 365 days. 
The sales rank value is based on Amazon sales and is updated daily to reflect recent and historical sales of the item. The sales rank displayed here is for the product group in which the item is featured. Note, if there is no sales ranking for the ASIN on Amazon, there will be no ranking in the report. The next set of columns we'll discuss are the unit shipped group. The one day value are unit shipped within the last 24 hours. The seven days value are the unit shipped within the last seven days. The 30, 90, 180, and 365 days value are the units shipped within the specified number of days. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the weeks of cover group. The 7 days value is based on your sales for the last 7 days, which determine the weeks of cover of sellable inventory at Amazon Fulfillment Centers. For example, if you sold 10 units in the last 7 days with 20 sellable units remaining in Fulfillment Centers, you would have 2 weeks of cover remaining for that item. The 30 days value is based on your sales for the last 30 days, which determine the weeks of cover for sellable inventory at Amazon Fulfillment Centers. The 90, 180, and 365 day values are based on sales for the specified period and determine the number of weeks of cover for sellable inventory at Amazon Fulfillment Centers. The new seller's value is the number of sellers with FBA offers for the product in new condition. The used seller's value is the number of sellers with FBA offers for the product in used condition. The quantity inbound value is the number of units inbound to fulfillment centers. The quantity recommended inbound value is the recommended shipment quantity for the next eight weeks. Here's a tech tip. All reports have additional display options or features which can be toggled on for use with the report. Let me show you how to easily toggle on some of those options and features. Go to the configure section located at the top right of the ribbon bar and click on the display button. Go to the column options section and select the charge projections column option. Once these options have been selected, click the OK button to apply the changes and return to the report. A seventh group, Charge Projections, is now visible. The Charge Projections group contains a number of units projected to incur long-term storage fees within specified periods. It contains six columns which provide more info about the product. The Quantity 6 value is the number of sellable units estimated to be in the Fulfillment Center for 180 to 365 days and subject to the 180-day long-term storage fee on the next charge date. For example, FBA small and light products are subject to the 180 day fee. The charge 6 value is the projected long term storage fee for units that have been in fulfillment centers for 180 to 365 days on the next charge date. The quantity 12 value is the number of sellable units estimated to be in the fulfillment center for more than 365 days as of the next charge date. The charge 12 value is the projected long-term storage fee which will be charged for units that have been in the fulfillment centers for more than 365 days on the next charge date. The quantity and long-term storage value is the number of sellable units that have been previously charged a long-term storage fee. The volume value is the volume of the item. It is calculated by multiplying the longest side, median side, and shortest side together. These measurements generally correspond to the length, width, and height of the item. This concludes our presentation of the inventory health report found in the FBA Business Report section of Communicate for Marketplaces. In summary, it's a quick and easy way to view and analyze detailed data about your inventory at Amazon Fulfillment Centers. This report offers greater visibility and transparency for your inventory health at Amazon Fulfillment Centers. The value-added features of Communicate for Marketplaces extends the usefulness of the FBA inventory health report from Amazon. Reports are crucial for any business, especially yours. Marketplace Reporting provides you with better reports so you can have better results for your business. You can contact us at sales at marketplacereporting.com to learn more about Marketplace Reporting and how we can help. You can join the conversation at marketplace reporting forward slash blog. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share with your colleagues. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.